Okay, so after spending all this time leveling this, I realized that I should not be using the topsoil, right? Why, you ask? <laughs> because of this. Not only that, but one of the most powerful forces in nature is erosion. And that's not going to work, so now I have to remove all of this and then level the actual hard ground. Let's just hope I don't hit bedrock. Stay tuned. So as you can see, we're digging up this topsoil. Going to move it on out. It's a lot of work. We're going to have to go down another half a foot, if not a foot, on some parts over here. We got all the weekend. This is Friday. So just going to burn through this top layer today and then uh, hit it in the morning. We'll keep you posted. Okay, so it's been, uh, what, three days my wife and I have been working on this. It, uh, I know you're probably saying it doesn't really look like it, huh? But um, we have all been doing this all by hand. And if you look over here, here was our first pile. And then all of these rocks and roots and everything. Now look at this pile. Look at that. That's a lot of dirt. And to be honest, the back or high side of this is still a foot higher than the low side. I can't believe it. So, hey guys. Drop. Let me kick this real fast. So I think tomorrow I am going to come out and try to get maybe another six to eight inches out from this backside. And that's, what, Tuesday. The following day, Wednesday, uh, is when the shed is actually getting installed. The reason why I know that this is not level is because I think I've figured out how to use that guy. Which is probably unnecessary, but comes in handy. Um, yeah, that's a good look at it there. I guess there is quite a bit of dirt gone. Um, I'm going to continue on tomorrow, like I said, and just do that back side, maybe even just to the left back here. Um, and then that's it. Then we'll have our shed on Wednesday, and that's the start of the first building of our homesteading project. Uh, the first thing is to get all of the crap out of the basement of our house and organize them here so we know where all of our tools are and everything. And then I believe the next thing is going to be either the hoop house, which is going to go that way, uh, or the sheep, I'm sorry, the goat barn. That's going to go right about here. It may kind of happen in parallel, but I'm going to have to level the ground for those as well. So I'm not quite sure how well that's going to go. Um, keep you posted. Uh, if I do more digging tomorrow, which I believe I will, I'll show you a final image of the land before the building actually starts getting erected on Wednesday. Talk to you guys later.